Hey everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Road to China, where we have last time defeated Mongolia and we are now currently marching towards the Xinjiang capital and then hope to gain all the resources that are in this lovely area because we need uh, resources. We need tons of steel and a little bit of oil and that's all concentrated in this area. So hopefully we can push a little bit to supply our factories with the stuff we need. Still cleaning up the peninsula over here. Uh, Japan is doing nothing. Our three remaining cruisers are still sitting there. That's all good. Uh, there's nothing down here. We're not at war with Portugal. Nothing to fear. Nothing to worry. Uh, we have a little bit of stuff going on down here. Because that's all somehow common turn. I hope that these guys take care of it. I mean, we are not in a faction without a reason, right? You are not mine, right? No, the Union of Red Dragons, and you are Thai People's Republic? Really? Why do you send people up there? Okay, sure. We have the Union of uh, Red Dragons on our side, nothing can go wrong. What could possibly go wrong, as some people might say? So, Axis, Common Turn, Us. It's not always size that matters, I hope. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We are going to do this. You Are you in faction somewhere, Siam? Do you want to join minus 43 just because of the freaking war that we have been drawn into? Same goes for India, by the way. Minus 49, and the war gives us a minus 50, otherwise we would have plus 1, and these two would join our faction pretty much immediately. That only leaves Turkey, and they are in the Allies. Alright, so, no real sense in talking much further. We are just gonna, you know, run the game speed 5. Let's see what happens. Uh, as usual, uh, we're playing a mod so the music is off, just so we don't get into any copyright problems here. Ooh. Ooh, are you in it now? Who? Yeah, having menus open on Speed 5? <laughs> when this is happening, it's not a thing. But I just want to see where my troops are going. We are on balanced approach currently. It's probably not the best thing we can do. But we are pushing, look at that. No, 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 no. Do this. Go in there. Our biggest problem seems to be organization. We have a max of 57. Uh, supply start is 90. It's, it's not looking too bad. Recon Company 3, yes, thank you. I'm, I've taken it. Anything else? No. That's all we can do. I really should do logistics. <laughs> well, at least I'm doing Sigma Company, but I don't have... Well, it's someday I might have motorized for it. But that will actually take some time. We need more guns. I think we do need more guns, so I'm going to put up a, a new line of guns. And actually, military equipment, or infantry equipment 3, since we have researched it. Put you right to the top here. And then I'm actually going to move you below the others, because, you know, first of all, these are full, so this is no point in having them up there. And this is now 1, 2, and 3. And why are we doing 1, 2, and 3? If I change these over, uh, they will look like this. <laughs> I can't afford to do that. So we're just going to leave them there. This is the cheaper gun, this is the better gun, this is the best, which will fill in 129,000 upgrades. Yeah, sure, we can do this, no problem. Um, hmm. Let's research some stuff. You know, just random research. Let's see what we can do here. Where are we? We're in 42. And I'm pretty sure I checked this at some stage. We could try going into some of these and just getting better troops. Uh, Jäger is forest and marsh. Now, what, what do we have up here in Russia? What is this? Desert. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, I actually know that does it. Not personally, I watched a documentary about China lately. Uh, plains, plains, a little bit of forest, yeah, a little more forest, but mostly plains and desert and mountains, so there's no real use in going into the special troops, really. Um, hmm. And we would need to bring them up to speed over here anyway, to make them really good, so that would take, yeah, a while. 160, 120, 160... Yeah, it's the same everywhere, so no, that's not going to be worth it. What else? 
At some stage, I must have researched, re -re researched, researched the tanks. Can't even remember. <laughs> Give all Soviet Union to the Red Dragon. You know what? That might actually be a thing I'm considering. Um, we had enough time for that one. Ten percent finished. Eighty days. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do it. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why did I even stop doing that? That's the best you can do. I mean, it takes a while, but it's a passive bonus, and it's the best bonus you get in the game. So, yeah, just go on. Move in there. Take Xinjiang, make me a nice front line. Well, it won't. Might be able to file in here behind the troops, though. Which technically just makes my front line longer, and it's bad. Are we winning this? Hey, don't jump away from me. <sighs> no reserves. These are... Poor have to break off combat soon, although this guy is going, and this guy is going, and I think we have it. Do we? Yes, we do. They are still moving. What do you want? Not aggression pack? Sure. Oh, we're pushing. Let's see. Well, that's a push everywhere. Thank you. I'm taking your guns. Yeah, that didn't help at all. What we need to do is get this bulge out of the way. All these troops around here, they could just be on this little piece. And that already would help. I mean, I could also take these out and form a new front line here, have the brushes come back in, but why would I? <sighs> okay. Oh, that looks better. Hmm. That actually does look better. You know what, guys? Cut them off. So we can annihilate them. This pocket seems to have cleared up. Very good. This is cleaning up. So, as soon as you are all dead, go in there. Just everybody. <laughs> they are attacking us back. That's so cute. There's a port here, though. I didn't see any overrun. So, yeah. They might have just fired out. Okay, you stop. Go where you have to. It's perfect. Who are you? Thai's people repair. Yeah, sure. I have to. At some stage, I have to try and remember the names. <sighs> yeah, currently I'm only. I'm only. <laughs> only. Pure <laughs> words and gods here. I'm only at war with the common turn and the axis. Yeah, that's that's correct. What do you want? Well, do we want to go to war with all of the allies as well? It's right here. No. We do not. You can be at war with whoever you want. I don't give a crap. Get defeated. Leave me alone. This is not how this works. Is that a capital now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not going to be a capital for much longer. Also, stop. What happened to my front line? <laughs> this is not how this game works. Which means all of you... Not you. No. All of you. You hold and probably go here, right? Yeah, see, that's better. Now, did this work or did this not work? Uh, you go here. You go in here. You attack that. You also attack that. You attack this. And since you have nothing to do, you go up here. There's five troops there. That's way too many. For comfort. Uh, you guys stop going somewhere and just go in here. Jeez, guys, shorten the front line. Anybody else? That guy. Push me now. Mm -hmm. um, sure. See, now I can't even go to war with the Allies, because most of them have signed a non-aggression pact with me, which is okay. Hmm. <sighs> Chinese people want a bad dictator? Hey, come on! Communism on the rise! It's just, you know, it's it's the wrong communism, so it's, it's... It has to be us. Look. It's the yellow communism, the true Marxist-Leninist. That's communism, not the common turn. That you know, that sounds like an apprenticeship. Don't do that stuff. 
There's a lot of troops in here. I like that. You're not gonna get anywhere from there. So how are we doing on the whole, the whole resource thing? That's what we really need. Right there. 48 steel. We did something. Whoops. Uh, rockets. Physics. Eh. Eh. We want to expand the navy. So what else we can do? I still don't want that. And there's nothing over here yet because war. And there's nothing over here yet because war. That's the one we just did. Gave us a lot of stuff. So yeah, we could go doing dockers, but I think we should go down here and have a look. Army training, construction engineering would be good. We need military construction though, and this doesn't do military bases, it does all the rest. Hmm. Yeah, civilian construction speed. I don't need that. That's what I need. This one, please. Why well, I'm not going for the other one? Because currently we need all the political power we can get and we only get 0.8 and if I deduct one of that we're actually losing power so we can't do that. What we're gonna do next, I can't click on that, hmm, is changing our freaking corrupt economy finally to something that actually helps, like war economy. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Um, okay, my timer is off. Weird. Why am I paused? You're a Bolshevik, Harry! <laughs> Cheers, Churchill. What? Oh. That's my army. <laughs> That's my army! Get to China! Yeah. I can choose a ship designer. That's exactly what I need right now. A ship designer. Since I have 10,000% penalty on any kind of ship that we could possibly design. Okay. Let's see, we're still working on that. That, okay, 65 days, yeah, it will take a while. Anything over here that might help, like attrition min minus 15%? But that's just a flat upgrade from that one, right? That replaces it, so it's 5% better. Still, attrition is what we have to deal with, so sure, why not? That one's next, that one's next. Nice, we're getting stuff done, so how's it looking? Oh, it's getting greener! Green communism for the win. I like it. <laughs> now, there's currently a poll in the chat going on that I should give all of Soviet Union, which I haven't even gotten yet, to this guy. Well, you know what I'm... I might just keep a little bit to myself so I have a direct route. My territory, my factories, my resources, and they can have, you know... Stuff like this up here. We'll see. We'll see. Deep operations. More. More planning. More elastic defense. More everything. Why am I rolling the R? <laughs> because you're a pirate, Harry. That's why. <laughs> I still have all 145. That's great. I think we're still pushing out more here. Yeah, it's good. It's good. What do you want? Sure, give me quarter pounders. Am I short in artillery? Oh yes, I am. Oh, we're gaining infantry equipment. We were at 25,000. If we keep going like this, we might make it. Oh, I know, that's because we're still training. That's why we're losing so many. Huh? <laughs> What's that? Is that because of the... of that? I don't get it. But yeah, sure. I take it. I take all the military factories. Are we making guns? We're making guns. Look at that. We're getting more steel. We must have just gotten some steel somewhere. D d stop annoying me. I'm gonna take care of that in a second. Great. Which means we need to bump these up a little bit because we want to improve our troops soon. 
Are you starving yet? Yes, you're starving. Perfect. So you... Oh, wow. Right click. Go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. You should be able to do that by yourself. Look, no organization, no supply. These troops are dead. Unfortunately, these have recovered quite nicely. And we're not really fighting over here. We're fighting over here, which is also not the best thing to do. We're doing it anyway. What? Come on, you go here. You do this. And that should just cut them off. Cut them in half. Right. Great. Or greater, in that case. What do we need to do? Uh, what can we get? Uh, just raw output? Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. I take it. Will you go away at any time? Aha. Uh -huh. Who's doing communist jokes in the chat? We're not doing communist jokes. Release! Communism is nothing to laugh about. Well, now you can decide if that was a joke or not. <laughs> Siberia is my city. Really? Well, let's put it this way. If you play the zombie uh, horde mod, there's two. There's, there's one that's called uh, Infection, and then there's another zombie mod. I tried the other one, which is completely broken currently. Um... You actually have Siberia up there as your capital, which is weird. You start off over here, because if you start up there, the Russians will just surround you and you won't get anywhere. But you start off over here, and um, as soon as you annex the Soviet Union, basically, you get that up there as your capital. And it actually says just Siberia. It's quite nice. See, these guys are doing it. Told you. Where are you? Right down there. So nice. There's 45, 46 divisions on this front line. I hate how the AI decides to carve up those front lines. It's completely bollocks. Only thing that does is attrition because there's so many troops around here. Well, that's over now. Signal Company! That's what we need the trucks for! Good, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm doing it. The United States of Soviet Russia. No, no, it's, it's just going to be, I don't know, Rashis. Well, that sounds more Indian, right? Rashi? <laughs> the Chinese People's Republic of United Asia and the Russian subcontinent. Is that short enough? No, it isn't. But it fits. I mean, we have plenty of room to put a nice title on here, so I guess that's okay. Oh man, pockets have been eliminated, so now people can finally push. I guess that's a thing. Um, since we're here, we might as well just do a general push. That will cost more equipment, though. Iran is still holding on. It's interesting. The thing is, since there is a civil war going on, even if I invade here and take territory initially, I will not be able to hold on to it, because um, civil war uh, participants get first pick, so... There's nothing we can do there. So I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna put you over here, straight through the mountains. Yes, yes, all the things in a second, please. And I'm just gonna take you. 70 troops, that's, well, it's nearly half of the 145, right? Uh, find the sweet spot, there. Attach, attack. Please? Why isn't there a short key for, you know, stop and start? <laughs> Go here. Um, find the sweet spot. Go here. And from now on... Here. Have we done this yet? No, but we're working on it. It's just going very slowly, it seems. You were supposed to go here. Were you not? Is that somebody else? I don't know. This is one big thing. Okay, yeah. One big state. That's fine. No need to worry. How about mine? Mine is a good title. I like that. Um, <laughs> you know, I just said um, Tank and I are going to start recording a series down in, in, in South America. And uh, as part of that, we will be able to design our own faction with no predefined name. Oh, this looks good. 
And we might actually just name it mine. That would be cool. I've never done that. The audacity! Yeah, supply consumption. Perfect. Just roll with it. More. All of them. I wish you could queue them up and just, you know, click on the last one. It would just go through it. There's so much micromanagement in this game already. Might as well just take some out of it. That would be cool. What are we going to do next? That's all, all too early. This is catching up slowly. Still can't produce it. There's no reason to go along here. T29? T29 is an American light tank. And not a heavy tank. And that doesn't look like a heavy tank either. Oh well. Um, we're still not using them, so I don't see the point in researching them. We just currently can't. There's no need to do anything over here. We might just get better fighters, maybe? That is the thing? Or see if we're lagging anywhere. Oh, we're lagging so hard. Um, let's get the bonus. Decryption, encryption is needed. Liberate me as a communist puppet, please. I will see. <laughs> First of all, we need to uh, get there and, you know, get in there, get duck in there, and drive the Russians out, and then we can have a look. This is still going to take a while, but I think we're catching up. Ever so No, we're not. Uh, oh, but this line is almost full, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trigger them through here. Actually, all of them. And then I'm going to fill them back up. So now we get motorized, as soon as we have steel, which we're still lacking. Uh, fighters need oil. Two lines of advanced artillery. One line is really producing very well. The other, yeah, while well, trying to catch up. This is enough as soon as they are at max efficiency, which will take ages, but we're getting there. Guns, 35,000 still. Upping our numbers here, and I'm still quite happy about that. What happened here? Ah, uh, yeah, you're better. I saw that. Leaving pockets behind. I could do just a very, very quick right-click maneuver. And just do a massive push up to the Urals. That's the Urals, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, Hungary just got a piece of Romania, I believe, or Slovakia or something. That doesn't really matter. Not to us. It's all the axes. The Red Noodle Alliance. What? Ramen? <laughs> you know, I could go full anime on this and just call it Konoha. <laughs> the Land of Fire. That definitely fits because we're going to have nukes at some stage. See, this worked quite nicely. Why are you not going? Just go. And the other one goes here. And you have nothing to do. You go over here. And that guy, just there. You go in here, and yeah, you, pff, no, just push in there. Are you, you're not doing anything, you can push in here. It's not helping, how about you help? How about half of you help? That's better. Um, oh, I could do something very weird here. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Why don't you... Do something like this. Not that it helps in any way, but you know, we, we might be able to get a pocket out of it. Alright, we're still pushing, and it's looking good, surprisingly. I mean, the Germans are not coming over, obviously, it's AI. I see you there. Love of you. Uh huh. Um, so. It will take a while, probably until we reach the line over here, that we actually meet some fierce resistance, and then we will have a fight on our hands. Now we're actually losing equipment because we're pushing everywhere. But it's green. I don't want to stop them while it's green. I really don't. I can hold the line whenever I want. I could use some more plant preparation bonus, though, just to make them push faster and harder. Some really good trips in here. Don't really have anything green. And we're still producing units, so that's why we're losing a lot of equipment currently. 
Okay. The push into the Soviet Union is happening. And we just got improved desert and jungle clothing. Very good, very good. Less attrition, more recovery rate. This is perfect for us. Is there anything else over here that works? Winter attrition. Since we're in May, <laughs> we should probably prepare for it. 123 days. This is good in Russia. This is really good in Russia. Ooh, extra breakthrough. For motorized, mechanized and infantry. So this helps our tank divisions, which will have mechanized later someday, maybe, as well. What else can we get? That helps immediately. Soft attack and reconnaissance. This is good. Yeah, it's definitely good. <laughs> ah. ah. Oh, that's that's good. The reliability goes down, so we lose more equipment. Um, from the engineers. But we get more attack bonus on urban forts, and that actually helps. I'm thinking about that. That's tanks, we don't have any. Okay, uh, this one, unless we find something that we need more desperately. How about that? Ooh, I'm so behind on this. What do you want? No! Don't want to go to war with the Allies. I have my hands full already. And the Allies is now including the US of A. But, since we paused, uh, we made about three quarters of a year. That's good. I like it. 160 divisions, more than we started out with. So, as I used to say uh, in this moment, and everybody loves to hear it, for those in the stream, don't go anywhere, we'll continue straight away. For those watching the video, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to justify a subscriber goal and blitzkrieg the like button. Follow me on Twitter if you want to catch the next live stream, and you also get all the other announcements. You know how that works. I'm Scripter, and you are dismissed. <laughs>